Hello, my name is Michael Ogwan from Alliance Tire. I'm the National Product Manager. Today I'd like to cover you that mystifies a lot of farmers in the field is on these tires, what is a load index and what does it really mean? It's a very important uh, item on the tire for you guys to understand. And what really the load index does, every tire in the, in the ag field has it on there, it basically tells you the maximum load at the maximum speed. In this case here, we have an Alliance Tire 350 uh, sprayer tire, a 380-90R46, to 172D. What that means, the number 172 really refers to a chart based on the TRA, Tire and Rim Association Guidelines, that says that it can carry 13,880 pounds at 40 miles an hour. Well, that's the letter D refers to the speed. So that means high speed tire, 40 miles an hour. Now, what it doesn't tell you, and that's the most important thing, it doesn't tell you at what air pressure. You have to go by the manufacturer's guidebook for the air pressures to their website. In that case, for Alliance, will be atgtire.com. And you look it up to carry the maximum load. In this case here, this tire will be at maximum at 85 PSI. In this case here, with this GVM machine that looks heavy, it really is not. You really need to know your axle loads on the machine. Because you really don't want to run your tires at maximum air pressure. You want to run them at the optimal air pressure for the load. So, although we said here it's 85 PSI, on this machine here, because of the loads, we can run this tire down to 60 PSI, which is a huge increase in creating traction, fuel economy, and reducing soil compaction on the machine. So you got to know your loads and think. Now remember, on the deal here, this load index, all this refers to is to the maximum. It's so not necessarily what you have. In my case, my experience as I see in the field, most farmers overinflate their tires because they go by the maximum. You guys really need to dial it in, get a good quality air gauge, use the data book, go to allianceatgtire.com, refer to it, and get the correct pressures. You'll see some phenomenal increases in your efficiencies and cost reductions in your tire costs. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.